Hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve, welcoming you back to Lucky Episode number 13 of our Rearc Park. For those of you just joining us, that is our recently extinct Animal Recovery Center. And today we're going to be putting in a wonderful display for some sea minks. Uh, right down here, it's actually going to be a two-part display. One of it's going to be this tank area we're building here. And then I'm also going to build, like, a little land area for them. And, uh... Well, here goes nothing. I'm not 100% sure this was going to work, but uh, we're going to give it our best shot. I'm not going to waste my shot here. That's what I'm trying to say. Let me go ahead and get this started. Uh, so, like I said, the first thing we're going to be building here is a tank for them. So, uh, But the main feature I wanted to put in for this tank is I'm going to build a little ramp for them to enter and exit the tank. And I'm not, like I said, 100% sure that this is going to actually work. But I'm going to make it look great, and I'm going to make it so that there are some of our sea minks in the tank, some of our sea minks in the uh, sort of land area here. And let me go ahead and wrap this around. Uh, huh. I don't think that anything's going to fit perfectly on that angle there. I might have to put in a tank wall. In fact, I'm almost positive I'm going to have to put in a tank wall to get that to even out correctly. Let's go ahead and get this level, and we'll put in these tanks. I don't know why these uh, white tank walls don't exactly match the like actual white fences, considering they're both made by the Ruben Sophie design people. I'm gonna guess those people's names are Ruben and Sophie. Um, go ahead and get this tanks in here. Your tanks get these fences in here for a little ramp. Uh huh. Very good. And let me just this aside and we're going to go ahead and this here that I'm outlining currently is going to be sort of the land exhibit area going all the way back here into sort of the private uh, cages do 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 just wrapping around like this very good uh, sea minks so let's go ahead and do my little educational portion of the show they're actually a fairly recently distinct species, as one might guess. They were native to sort of the Atlantic coast of Canada. Uh, went down as far as like um, the New England states in the U.S. here. And unfortunately, they had the very terrible evolutionary uh, development of having very, very, very soft fur. Which meant that they were really, really prized for coats and... Uh, scarfs, or whatever you call those stupid scarfs made of fur out of. Uh, I know there's an actual term for them, but I can't remember it right now, and uh, I'm just going to leave it at that. So, unfortunately, the sea minks, uh, they were just a little too snuggly for their own good, is the end story here. So, just let that be a lesson. Never let yourself become too snuggly. Tragic. Alright, we'll go ahead and put this in here. Looks like they're a coastal animal. Technically, I could probably put Tundra down. As I mentioned, they were kind of in the northern area, so they're probably used to a little bit more rocks, a little less sand. But we'll go ahead and make these little tidal pool-looking things here. And we'll build up some rocks around it. I'm going to put this kelp bed in the tank here for the tank ones. And we'll go ahead and get a little some rubber toys to float in there. That'll be great. And we'll go ahead and use these actual coastal rocks, which I actually think really, really good. So, good excuse to use them here. Uh, just throwing these guys down here. And I should mention that this exhibit is actually due south of the Great Auk exhibit that we did last time. So we're going to try to uh, sort of make this exhibit look like it blends in with that, like we had it planned all along, per use. Uh, I'd actually love that Murungla. I should do a lot more uh, coastal exhibits, because I actually really like the coastal rocks, and I like that Murum grass that is part of that biome. Um, there we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I want these backgrounds here. There we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, it's not quite even. Let's see if I can straighten that out a little bit. Um, hmm, I might have made it worse. Yeah, it looks about the same. Oh, well, I, I can live with that. We'll just have to do a quick change, I think, in the background, maybe? Is that how we want to do this? Um, yeah, okay, this is how we'll do this. Uh, to make it look like I planned for that, we're going to change the height of this wall. And then we're going to use some floating railings to create some windows in the back. And you can see some of the trees and rocks and things are sticking through the wall here, but since none of our guests will ever see that, I'm not going to go crazy about it. We're just going to put this glass in here, like so, and delete, like so, and put it back in, 
like you guessed it. So, spin you around here. Okay, yeah, I think that looks better. Let's get rid of that little rounded thing there. And if I could get rid of these trees, we're going to put some fences to wrap around. We'll put in some new pillars here at the entrance. Yeah, I'm liking that. Um, probably should take a look at our water hazard right now. Our water hazard, like we're playing golf. Um, hmm. Trying to think, should I try to expand that river or maybe curve it through our sea mink area? Is that where that should go? Hmm, I hadn't thought about this. This is a whoopsie doodle on my planning stage. Um, well, here, I could just turn it around the corner here. I think that's probably the way to go. Let me just grab this tempered grassland water and kind of just send it down here. Um, yeah, it doesn't look very natural, but uh, if you, we'll just uh, assume that it's completely an artificial river, which would not be the craziest thing ever. And let's go ahead and switch these pillars now to wooden thing, just to, like, tie it in with the Great Auk area from the front. Remember, that's how we did that last time. Hmm. A little lag on that zoom out. Well, it's a good thing the zoo's getting towards the end. Uh, whenever I go too deep into a zoo, particularly if it's larger than a medium, I do have some lag monster attacks, but, uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be a major problem for us so far, because we are, I think we're about 80% done with this zoo, just in terms of land mass. I don't know how many exhibits I'll put in, but, uh, Stay tuned. Let's just go ahead and get these glass panels in. And we'll go ahead and put a little white paneling across the top. Like so, if I can get this to the right height. Yes, no, maybe so. Um, like that. Yeah, there we go. Undo it. So, I'm using one height fences followed by two height glass railings. And now followed by a one height white railing. There we go. And that's how we definitely wanted to turn out. Amazing. Great, great, great. Uh, okay, let's take a little attention to this tank here. Um, da -da -da. Okay, we're just going to... First things first. I don't want this uh, ramp to get messed up. So first things first. Let's go ahead and get like the chute to the right height um, okay and now we're gonna grab railings to match that it should just be the flat twos I think yeah like that and flat twos on this side there we go uh, we'll make this wall here that should be good and then I'm going to even though the fences are a height of three I'm going to put this railing at a I'm sorry the fences are a height of four but I'm putting a height of three railing there, uh, just to uh, make it so that the hallway is not going to be so ridiculously high looking. And um, it's also going to allow us to put railings over the doorways, so those look like it's an actual doorway that's going to have some uh, space over the top. And let's just fill in this roof here. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that did not mess up our, uh, didn't mess up our ramp. Very good. Let's go ahead then and just drop this little railing over the side to give it a little better looking. A little better looking. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And we'll go ahead and make that so there's a doorway there so we can close the chute if we want. And we can close the entrance to that area entirely now. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> Let's go ahead and hang this over here at uh, two. Like so. Like so. Yeah, that looks better. That looks like it's the right height for the seamings to enter in and out of. And we'll go ahead and now just put these walls around the area. I think I'm going to have to use a tank wall here for this angle because it's not quite at the standard degree. Yep, definitely the case. Uh, it's going to be close enough. It's not going to bother me too, too much. And let's drop this, and we're going to have to put in some cement here, because this is going to be uh, both the entrance to the tank area for our zookeepers. We're going to put in a little tank entrance there, like so. 
which looks pretty good if you ask me. And then we're also going to, once I get this area mapped off, we use this other area for a tank filter. So let's grab that, and this is probably going to be hard to place, so give me a... Mm, probably going to take a few tries. Um, hmm. Uh, I just got it. It'll work. I've experimented with it, so trust me, but it's, it's like very, very precise though. See, it works there. Um, I should be able to get it to work here. Maybe I have to get rid of that fence. Let's try that. There we go. Got it down. Put some walls around it. Uh, we're gonna have to repave that real quick here. Let me throw this in. Great. Okay, we got those essential things down. Let's finish off roofing over our tank area. And we're gonna want to leave a little extra room over where our tank entrance is here. So we're gonna rope it off like so. And just cover this up. And then we'll want to add an extra height of two. So that way we are able to climb up to the top of the ladder if we need to. Is that the right height? Um, is that a two? No, it's a one height. So let's get rid of this. And uh, we'll just kind of leave these things in as guidelines for us here. And we'll see if we can't float a rail over that. Nope, oh, stop fighting me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. Yes. Yeah, okay. Trim away what we don't need. And there we go. We'll be able to use that tank entrance. And uh, just to tie the whole thing in, we're going to lower this tank. Let's put a uh, height one floating rail across the top here. Uh, type one. There we go. And, uh, yep, yep. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Oops. Mess that one up. Real quick fix. There we go. And tank against that. Very good. What else? What else? Uh, <laughs> I guess I better finish off these columns here. Just float these here and here. And then we'll put a uh, rail across the top. Yes, very good. Okay. And then I think what we'll do is actually put a uh, level 3 wrapping all the way around this. Um, is that how I want to do that? Or do I want to hold it off the side? Let's get rid of this tree for a second. Um, okay, let's do like here and here. And wrap around there. It's getting us up a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's good with me. Put the tree back. Now uh, let's go ahead and put some level 1 railings. And put a top level on that. Thank you. Um, and I don't want to use the white for this. I want to uh, let's use these guys. And we'll go ahead and make some signage here so people are encouraged to come and see the C mink. S E A mink. Not S E E. And I remembered that because they taught me in elementary school that uh, the one with two E's is the one that refers to vision because the two E's together look like an, uh, two different eyeballs. That's, that's how I remember that. Pro tip for people who have problems spelling. The uh, C with two E's, like two eyeballs, are about the seeing, the visioning. You understand. Okay, moving on. Let's go ahead and put the railing here. And same thing, just uh, one height and one height and one height on the back side. One height on the back side. And let's go ahead and drop some poles in here to make this look more structurally sound, I guess. Or at least more visually interesting. Uh, drop some poles, drop some benches. And yeah, let's change these up so the color matches those poles a little bit better. Nope, there we go. There we go. That's the one I want. And uh, da, da, da. nope, wrong, wrong thing, right? Yeah, okay. And go ahead and drop these poles in now. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Drop one out here. 
And let's grab some juniper bushes. Fill in this area. Not enough headroom. Aww. That means I'm gonna have to delete some stuff. Ugh, I'm gonna have to delete and rebuild. Bane of my existence. And we'll take these guys off the main path here. Give it a little gap so we can grab some of this grass and fill it in with that. Just so it's all not so heterogeneous. And fill in this area too. There we go. Very good. Now let's go ahead and rebuild what we destroyed. If I remember how I did this, I'm pretty sure I do. Mm-hmm. Now, top layer. And I realize now I screwed up that top layer. Let's get that fixed real quick. There we go. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, let's go ahead and grab that grass again. And just to make it look not quite so artificial, let's fill in this area here by our great awk exhibit. And back here, just in case somebody peeks their head around the corner a little bit. <laughs> oh, I haven't done anything with the uh, actual lab area. So let's go ahead and put in some cages. Don't need super duper cages here. These aren't uh, huge grizzly bears. Let's go see minks, so drop these guys off. And you, and you, and you. And... okay. Door, and door, and door. And we'll go ahead and give these guys their own ceiling. Like so, very good. <laughs> Let me grab that, uh... Where is the dark railing that matches those cages? Uh, there it is. Doot. Very good. And we'll grab some of these uh, chain link. There we go. Chain link tank walls that we can use for doors here. It's a shame there's not one that has black outlines so they match the cage better, but uh, it'll work. Grab a wall. Oops, one more and a wall. Very good. They're actually going to have a quite a large like uh, zookeeper area in this one. So let's go ahead and put these doors in. Mm-hmm. And I think we'll do the same thing we did with the hallway. We'll put in a three height for the ceiling, and then the actual roof will have it a four height. That way we get the best of both worlds. The building looks nice and high, and it doesn't look crazy, cavernous, spacious uh, when you go into it. Get a door there so people can actually get in. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, let's cover up this here. And spray this across. And then same concept. Just keep it going. Like so. There we go. So far, I'm liking that. I might keep the, like, guest area open air. Um, we'll go ahead and just make this series four. Since it's going to be over the cages, I don't have a problem with, like, space between the ceiling and the actual cage. <laughs> there we go, there we go. There we go, 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 go. That was the There We Go song I've written for this special occasion. Uh, patent pending. But, uh... I will litigate if you tried to steal it, because it was just such an awesome song. I don't know how you would not. Okay, and we'll just raise this thing up to a height of five, just to give it a little more distinction, a little more fancy. Some fancy in the fancy. Let's go. There we go. And same thing over here. We'll just add a floating railing, and then we'll put a top on that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. A little higher. There we go. Oh, that's beige. It's a little too beige, if you ask me. Let's go ahead. We want white. White, white, and white. Okay, there we go. And let's delete the excess. Trim it up just a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave the uh, guest area kind of open. And, uh, 
let's go ahead and put down another beam there and there, just so it doesn't look so weird. And I think that more or less does that. Um, let's go ahead and put in our equipment for our zookeepers. And since this is such a large area, we should build kind of an elaborate setting, I would think. Uh, yeah, out, and then let's turn this. And we'll put two of these down here. And use these tables to kind of extend out. Like so. And I'll even turn the corner here. There we go. A couple of these, a couple of those, some computer. Uh, let's grab some of the vertical ones. Put them by the doors of the cages, like I like to do. Like that, and uh, like that. Okay. Uh, of course, we want our hay down here, so we have a nice nesty nest for our little sea minks. And I guess we should feed them, too. So let's go ahead and find out what they eat and drink. I'm assuming they drink water, but perhaps they prefer a nice diet cola. You never know. <laughs> Things there. Let's grab a couple of these food bits. And I think these are, yeah, good. They're deep enough that we can put these little coral guys in them. So they go ahead and still hunt for these in the water beds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess we should just start putting our animals. Alright, let's do our final walk through here. We're starting with the Great Ox, and now that we turn right, you can see the Sea Mink, which really does do a good job of blending in with the area. I like how that turned out. And when we go in here, uh, look a little bit to the right, you can see those junipers and grass building up. To the left, we can see our tank. Let's see how the... Oh, let's check this area too. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's go ahead and check out the tank area of our mink display. And it oh, looks like he's sleeping inside the uh, grass bed right now. You can see him there bobbing along. Bobbing along on the beautiful briny sea. Uh huh. Swim, little mink. Oh, Dodo 1 just gave birth. Hurrah. And let's check out our top area here. Oh, look at him! He's climbing on the coastal rocks. It's some excellent, excellent model work. Well done. And, yep, that one's digging in there for that clam reef we put in it for it. These are actually really, really good models. They come out of the uh, Eastern Expedition Pack, which comes with like a dozen animals. I would really recommend it. Uh, if you want to find it, I forget the website. I'm, I'm, I apologize. Uh, I know you can link to it through the Zoo Tycoon 2 download wiki, which I always try to plug because it's the best resource for getting the models you're looking for. Um, okay, but I think that's a pretty good idea of what the guests will see. Let's use our magic Superman jump powers to look at this like a zookeeper. Going over here. Oh, okay. I was kind of hit by a lag monster there, but uh, that's okay. What I'll have to do... Uh, in order to make this run smoother next episode is I'll go through and delete like all the juveniles that we've had born so there has to be less process donated to all the mini 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 animals we have here now and hopefully I don't have a problem getting through doors which apparently I'm having now oh come on work I don't want to have to uh, do this again oh there we go there we go I got it perfect it's working great now And you can see here are our sea minks in the tank. They're having a great job. Great, great. And we'll fill this up here. Very happy. They're doing wonderful. They do look wonderful. And there's, of course, the little chute to the right there they can get in and out of. We're going to use the ladder, though, to get down. And once we're off of it, turn around. We're using proper ladder safety, making sure that we have three points of contact at all time. Uh, go through here, through the cages. And we should be able to go down that long hallway now into the outer display. There's the chute. You can go, if you climb up there, you can get back to the tank. But uh, let's go out here. And we'll walk through. And oh, now I'm walking on a rock. But let me get down. Turn around. That's what it's all about. Oh, there they are. They're both kind of drinking or digging or whatever they do there. Swim, swim in the little shallow pools. Hello, zookeeper lady. And that, I think, is going to do it for our sea mink exhibit. Which, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of proud of that one. Not going to lie. 
And you can see that that does take up sort of this bottom half here, along with our Great Auk exhibit. So that kind of takes care of that corner of the Rearc Park. Um, and I mentioned we are getting close to done. So let me show you here. I've only got like this upper right-hand corner. Um, so if you have any animals that you definitely want to see in here, uh, now would be the time to shout out for them. Uh, I'm not going to guarantee you're going to get them, because after all, this is not the Subscriber Zoo. Subscriber Zoo is another uh, series I'm doing on my channel, so if you want to keep in touch with this series, or with any other things on my playlist, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like this actual video, you can also hit that like button below. And you, of course, are encouraged to comment and let me know if there's anything I can do in the future in the zoo, or maybe go back to fix in the seeming exhibit. But anyway, I want to thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a great rest of your evening. This is Zoo Tiger Steve saying bye.